Hey guys, I'm again with another question from the book of Brigham of Fundamentals of Financial Management. All right, the question says that bond question is about bond valuation, and the question says that this corporation has an outstanding bonds have a one thousand par value bond, and eight percent semi annual coupon rate, fourteen years to maturity, and eleven percent YTM. What is the bonds price? So this question is quite similar to the seven point one question, which I have already explained in detail. So if you haven't watched how to solve this question, please go and watch. But the question differs. The question differs in a way that the coupon interest rate in this question was nine percent, but this rate is annual rate, and in this question we got semi annual rate. so that's the only difference between those two questions so here if we see in the formula we gonna divide i by 2 because it's semi annual payments so semi annual means by annual or two times in a year and we're gonna multiply the n by 2 so that's the minor change we know the value of the bond from the previous lectures if you have watched the value of the bond or i'll try to explain you know each and every step in every question uh, but you know if someone is watching the whole series it would be you no know, great for for him to watch all the steps again and again you just want the basic concept did that differs in every question so i would prefer you to go back if you didn't get the answer over here or if you uh, you know just don't got stuck at some point in time in the question so the value of the bond is present value of future interest and present value of principal repayment so here is the present here the formula by which we can calculate the present value of the principal repayment so the bond is $1000 and the present value we can calculate it uh, the ytm is 11% we are going to take 11% but we are going to take it Uh, we uh, have to divide 11% by 2 if we divide 11% by 2 we get 5.5% and we and then we have to divide it by 100 so we get 0.055 so the present is equal to present value and we're going to multiply it by 1 plus 0. point or just i just explained but i i uh, think i should write it 0.11 which is the ytm we are going to take 11% over here not the 8% 11% over here not the 8% it's because the 8% is the coupon rate not the yield to maturity not the overall rate that we are going to get paid so 11 divided by 0.11 divided by 12 point divided by 2 that would be 0.055 and raised to the power What is n over here? N is fourteen years. So n multiplied by two, we get twenty-eight. Or I can write it like fourteen into two. Now, if I divide one thousand divided by this value, well, I, I'm going to calculate it from a calculator: one point zero five five raised to the power twenty-four. That is three point six one, so three point six one four five. It is equal to present oh come on. It is equal to present value one. So. I'm gonna solve in this the calculator. It's two seventy six. Two seventy six point six five, and I think I just made a mistake in calculating. Let me calculate again. One point zero five five raised to the power twenty eight. So yeah, I did. It's raised to the power twenty eight because fourteen into two it's twenty eight. So the value over here is four point four seven seven eight, and that would be two two three point 
3.321 and I'm gonna copy that paste that and highlight it so that's present value one now we need to find the present value of future interest the interest how much interest we are getting is 8% of 1000 is $80 so the formula as I just explained the question number one we're gonna copy the same formula but now the interest I over here would be divided by 2 and the interest I over here would also be divided by 2 and n would be multiplied by 2 so um, let's just put the values PV2 is equal to um, what is the PMT? It's 40 because or it's 80 divided by 2. You can say that because the annual uh, payment is semi annually. Well, I'm gonna write it 40. Now I'm gonna 1 minus, uh, I just put this bracket. 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.055 already explained that 11% divided by 2 divided by 100 would be this value minus n the n would be 28 so bracket closed and this whole to be divided by 0.055 so this factor over here gives me the value of 40 I just you know put 40 X or 40 into it. it's actually multiplication sign so 40 into the factor over here is 1.055 raised to the power minus 28 1 minus the answer and divided by 0 0.055 so the factor is 40.121 you know my um, business mathematics are call this factor as capital recovery factor you know this factor and now I'm going to multiply this 14.12 into 40. We will get 564.85 and that's perfectly correct. 564.856 and it hasn't rounded off it. Control C, Control V. Come on. So that's the other answer. Now if we're gonna sum both of both, oh, come on. that is uh, 223.321 plus 564.564.856 so in totality we will get 788.17 788.17 and that is our final answer I hope you get it and you can always watch the first lecture for this question for a better understanding because in this uh, that was a basic question and that was something advanced because here the concept of semi-annual coupon rate comes and that's its final answer thank you for watching and you can always get this excel file i'll put the link in the description thank you for watching once again